A hundred and fifty. O thou handmaid, aflame with the fire of God's love, grieve thou not over the troubles and hardships of this nether world, nor be thou glad in times of ease and comfort, for both shall pass away. This present life is even as a swelling wave, or a mirage, or drifting shadows. Could ever a distorted image on the desert serve as refreshing waters? No, by the Lord of Lords, never can reality and the mere semblance of reality be one. And wide is the difference between fancy and fact, between truth and the phantom thereof. Know thou that the kingdom is the real world, and this nether place is only its shadow stretching out. A shadow hath no life of its own, its existence is only a fantasy and nothing more. It is but images reflected in water, and seeming as pictures to the eye. Rely upon God, trust in Him, praise Him, and call him continually to mind. He verily turneth trouble into ease, and sorrow into solace, and toil into utter peace. He verily hath dominion over all things. If thou wouldst hearken to my words, release thyself from the fetters of whatsoever cometh to pass. Nay, rather, under all conditions, Thank thou thy loving Lord, and yield up thine affairs unto his will that worketh as he pleaseth. This verily is better for thee than all else in either world. <laughs>